second down in round 12. For half a century, Harry Carpenter described the greatest fights of the age. He covered his first World Heavyweight Championship in 1955, when the fearsome Rocky Marciano destroyed Britain's Don Cockle. Yes, the first punch he hit me, he hit me high on the cheekbone. During his career, he met and interviewed all the great fighters and became friends with many of them. I'd like to say that you're not as dumb as you look, Harry. <laughs> Even the fiercest heavyweight of all. Always glad to see you. You're a very nice man. <laughs> and he turned Britain's Frank Bruno into a folk hero. I didn't think I would see you again, Harry. You know what I mean? I thought you retired from the show, but no, 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 you got it all wrong. A former print journalist, he was a television natural, completely unflappable, even when things fell apart. We can't show you that, right? But uh, let's see if we have anything. I haven't any other news to give you, I'm afraid. So uh, let's hear from upstairs what we're going to do. The I'm in touch here on my defo with the control gallery, and everybody up there, I can tell you, is in a fair old panic right at this moment. <laughs> the first man we're going to look at is the great Arnold Palmer. It was not just boxing. He fronted the coverage of the Open Golf Tournament for years, and he was equally at home at Wimbledon, or as here, presenting the boat race. Not content just to watch from the sidelines, he was always happy to take part in the action himself. But boxing was his first love. He covered every Olympic Games between 1956 and 1992, describing both the highs and the lows. And that, in my opinion, makes an absolute farce of this Olympic tournament. This judging is outrageous. He won numerous awards for his contribution to sport, but his greatest pleasure was being ringside, sharing his love of boxing with viewers across the world.